A multi-organizational stream restoration effort is underway with the removal of Roaring River Dam in Jackson County, Tennessee. Busting out the at-risk dam will reconnect aquatic species and make the waterway safer for public recreation. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Nashville District built a 220-foot long dam in 1972, then rebuilt and reinforced it in 1976 after heavy flooding damaged the structure in 1973. The Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency originally wanted the dam to keep reservoir species from migrating upstream into areas inhabited by stream fish. However, fish surveys indicate the barrier was somewhat ineffective and no longer needed. We've seen some of the species that, uh, or many of the species, that it was designed to limit move upstream of the dam. So as a barrier, it's been marginally effective. Um, and a lot of the species that it was intended to limit, you know, we, we, we look at them differently today. Uh, we look at them as part of the ecosystem, uh, things like red horse species that have pretty heavy migrations of, of large numbers of fish up into spawning areas. Um, I think we need them up in Roaring River and, and in lower part of Blackburn Ford. So management philosophies have changed. And, and then the fact that the, the dam is starting to fail um, and is creating more of a safety hazard, uh, you know, we need to address that too. Nashville district planners concluded an environmental assessment in April 2017 that determined the dam's removal posed no significant impact to the Roaring River ecosystem. Uh, PWRA has a real estate out grant for some of the properties on Corner Hall Lake, including the fish barrier dam area. Um, they submitted a request to remove the dam and the Corps evaluated it under uh, NEPA, National Environmental Policy Act, uh, to determine the uh, environmental effects of removing the dam, and the Corps came to a finding of no significant impact for the project. The Corps' assessment paved the way for TWRA to remove the dam in partnership with the Nature Conservancy, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation, and the Southern Aquatic Resources Partnership, Work crews notched the dam July 31 to lower the water impounded upstream of the dam and then began removing the structure August 1. The construction crew is peeling back the concrete cap and hauling it off along with the gabion baskets with rocks underneath the structure. Some of the material will be reused to build up eroded areas near the site. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the Nashville District at Roaring River Dam in Tennessee.